On February 25th this year, agencies. Minister Pundari launched Section 65A of the GST Act. It was eventually implemented on the 3rd of May and 10 days later, the benefits were already seen with the Department of Finance headquarters alone collecting more than 470,000 kina in GST retentions to be remitted to IRC. This is aside from national government agencies and Department of Finance cash offices in the 22 provinces countrywide, which are yet to be reported for their collections. It's going to do a great deal for our country, a great deal of good, a great deal of good in improving our governance, minimizing malpractices, corrupt practices, etc. And I think uh, we'll also encourage good stewardship of our public money and the way we expand and use public monies for that matter. We must always end up our best to continue to improve our flawed systems, let me put it that way. Minister Pundari said a change of process reveals that aggregation of isolated incremental changes add to the benefits to improve revenue inflows mileage to government. Pundari, who is also Kumpiam Ambum MP in Enga province, also raised concerns on corruption and malpractice in financial management in PNG through government circles, citing a paragraph from the 2003 Public Expenditure Review and Regionalization Report, which described the fiscal sustainability of the country's situation at the time. The Department of Finance was task and responsibility and the mandate of it is to regulate and to ensure that we work within the parameters of ensuring our responsibilities are within the context of public expenditure or public money. Our oversight in our roles and responsibilities of managing public money under the Public Finance Management Act. We've got to do the right thing to ensuring that the responsibilities and the roles of of bank offices, bank clerks, and tellers are left to the commercial banks. The minister says COVID-19 has depressed and dampened many of PNG's benefits socially and economically, making the nation's aspirations look less achievable individually and as a nation. However, he says collective efforts in building, restructuring, innovating and enhancing government systems enable a better way forward for prosperity. Dennis Orere, National MTV News.